So, now I'm gonna work on figuring out where all this cleaning stuff goes. So I have tons of old cleaning stuff that I've had for many, many years. I think I'm going to probably get rid of most of it, or at least take it out of here. I'll have to probably adjust some of these drawer or shelves. I'm gonna take all of this out, put it aside. I don't necessarily wanna throw this away, but as Matt Mormon says, if he hasn't used it in a year, he just tosses it. And I haven't used some of this in 10 years, so. If I haven't used it then, I'm not gonna use it now. And that's why I bought all of this, because now there's a process and a method to the madness behind all of these products. Whereas this was just collected over time for many different things. So, time to get cleaning. What I think I might do, cause you know, I'm not, once I have the process down of cleaning the car, obviously I'll remember all the techniques and, and uh, what order everything goes in. But what I think I'm gonna do is go through each bottle once I figure out where they go and label them A, B, C, D, car wash, like whatever the packages are and then A1, A2, A3, A4, as which ones I use first. Um, that way, I will know, you guys can see, and uh, maybe that will help some of you, because look, what how I buy things is, <laughs> I don't know, unlike everyone else, or maybe just like everyone else. I normally buy everything that I want now, knowing that I'll probably buy later, or need it later. So like the car cleaning stuff, I don't know if I'll jump right into car cleaning, but I wanted it, I want, I wanted it all now so I can have it done so it's off my list of what I need. Um, but when that, I do that, I tend to forget how to use it, why I bought it, what does this or that. Um, and I just don't have a good memory. So, I think that'll actually be best. Looks like this spilt the nano glass sealant. I'm actually looking forward to this. Here's my stupid truck. Love my truck, but that windshield must have a lot of contaminants on it. Time to think about it. I need to decontaminate, decontaminate uh, my R32 and my truck. Cause those ones are, my truck only parks outside. It's only parked outside for the last two years. Um, Cause it's a big truck. <laughs> and I have too much crap. And it's black, so that one definitely needs to be decontaminized. Uh, but that will take me long. I'll probably, and that truck's 50, 60 grand, so I don't wanna start screwing with that thing uh, first when I'm learning this stuff. So what I'll probably do is just start with my R32 because that's my project car. If I screw something up, at least I'll learn on that paint job. That's silver, which as we all know is more forgiving than black. Um, so yeah, I think that's, that's my process. But yeah, this tape is annoying, super annoying. Super, super, super.
All right, so here's what we have right now. Um, a little bit of my OCD is the fact that you're meant to start with the wheels first, but that's uh, package B. <laughs> so I got the, all the wheel stuff here and here. Then I got all the car cleaning stuff here and here. Then I didn't, I didn't buy my uh, polishing kit from that moment because it's like a thousand bucks. And uh, I'm not really gonna be polishing cars that often. So what I did do on Prime Day is just buy someone's kit. Uh, I will put the link below to that kit. Um, but that's what I put here, the polishing uh, wheel or whatever you want to call this, the polisher and the kit that came. I think that was 150 bucks. Um, then I have the decontamination kit there. I have my rags. There's more in the back. The extras in the back. There's some up front. And these are the extras that I'm keeping. What I don't have anywhere here is uh, an interior cleaning kit. So I might get one more shelf because I don't want to just, you know, put interior cleaning and take up a whole shelf. So I don't know, but this is where we're going to start. Uh, right now I've labeled every bottle A, B, C. I haven't labeled them one, two, three or anything yet because the first time I wash, I'll keep this marker here and I will do one dash or A dash one or A dash two, depending which bottle needs to be used first. Just so mentally, I don't have to think. <laughs> um, it's just visually what I need to do. So that's all the Matt Mormon obsessed garage cleaning stuff, minus this and my extras there. Those are all his uh, recommended cleaning rags for kit A. This is all spray paint stuff I need to figure out what to do, throw away. And here are my buckets. Uh, the buckets look cool. My biggest thing is, where am I gonna keep them? Because this is going to be a working garage soon. Um, so yeah, I don't know. They can probably sit right there. All three of them will fit right there. So thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope that unboxing just showed you uh, the amount of product you can get when you order the A, B, C, and half of D kit um, from Obsessed Garage and how much space you actually need. I'm not really gonna review these products. And Matt has done a fantastic job of choosing them. Um, so go check out his channel if you, if you wanna understand it all. I know the wheel cleaning kit has changed since I bought this. But uh, this is what I use for a long time, so doesn't upset me any bit. Um, I do have a lot of wheels, <laughs> so I'm sure that won't last too long. Uh, and I do get a lot of brake dust. If you want to see a review on these products or how to use them, I will put a link uh, in the description below to go to Matt Mormon. But the main reason for this video is to show you my organization of the new garage. Uh, I will probably be tweaking this as time goes. As I said, another shelf and uh, get an interior cleaning kit. So thanks again for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know below and I will be sure to answer them. Until next time, thanks.